previously on Silver Sun. I will make sure you never work in the Star Service again. I will crush you. I will crush you. I'll... As the best pilot, I'll be able to get Syriax back to Earth safely. Are you volunteering? Yes. Are you sure going back to Earth with Tane is what you really want? More than anything. I've spoken to Steve and he's agreed to let you replace Mara on the escape module. Thank you. What? Three, nine, seven. Back up three, nine, seven. Safe journey, Commander. Wonder if pod 397 has any answers for us. It's a pod, of course. Mara, you're a genius. We don't even know this pod has anything to do with Syriacs, so we're just going to do it. Defrost the pod without permission. Uh-huh. Great. T-minus seven minutes to launch. Deeks, look! Syriacs! But he's been loaded aboard the escape module. Starrunner leaves on its 90-year journey to the New World. On board, an elite young crew and 550 settlers frozen in suspended animation. Make it to the bridge. Can you abort the mission from here? We need clearance. It's no time. Do you know how many rules we're breaking? Welcome to my world. Stage two brackets released. Check. Air supply and filtration transfer complete. Check. I'm glad it's you here with me. Check. Stage two launch coordinates confirmed and set. You've run them through both systems. Don't worry, they're going to be fine. Lower escape module to launch platform. Lowering. T minus 30 seconds. Engaging transponders. Check. Call as soon as you've passed Corvo Nebula. I will, Mum. Be careful. T minus 20 seconds. Switching launch monitor to parallax scanner. Almost there. Come on, hurry. T minus 10. I press the wrong number. Look, I'll do it. Eight, no, I can do this. Seven, of course you can. Six, You're you. Five, four, three, two, one. What happened? It wasn't me. Is there a problem at your end? Check for any glitches. No malfunction reading anywhere. Sorry, guys. Looks like there's another way to help Syriax. What are you talking about? When we pulled up the file on this particular pod, there were no details. So we knew we had to defrost it. We would have cleared it with you first. But by the time we figured it out, you were already in countdown mode. I've seen clones before, but never one that... It looks just like Syriax. So we can use him to fix the alien virus, right? We'll have to run some tests, but theoretically... I'll go get the lab set up for... What should we call him? Syriax the second? C2. Yeah, that works. Well, don't we need to check if he's gone past his use-by date? Yeah, for starters. We still need a formal debrief on this lapse in protocol. But that can wait till we find out how this clone can help Syriax. I can't believe this. Who gave Deegan Hutt the authority to pull the mission? Nobody did. Someone's got to get that guy into line. But not you. What if the clone doesn't work? If we can complete the necessary test in the next couple of hours, there's a chance this mission could still go ahead. A chance. It depends on Lillian's results. But we could miss our window. There won't be enough fuel to get the module back to Earth. Everyone's working as fast as they can. So Deegan Hart may have ruined the only chance we've got of helping Syriax. I'll have an update soon. Meanwhile, get some rest. So that's it? This is a joke. It's important you stay focused, Tane. If this clone fails, we both need to be ready. We're supposed to be out there. Deegan, I better hope we don't bump into each other soon. 
He's got a zero liminal activity reading. I've never seen that before. That's because C2 is a harvest clone. A what? He's been grown specifically for emergency medical purposes. Basically, he's a spare part shot for Syriax. So he's never had a personality? No. Nope. No conscious or subconscious brain activity. That's insane. It exists, but it's never had a life. Oh, you two have plenty in common then, Deeks. You can be friends. You're a real wit. A half-wit. Mara? I'll do baseline status blood works and tissue testing. I guess that leaves me with a viral antibody challenge. So how long until the clone's immune system can fix Syriax? Unfortunately, it's still a question of if, not when. We need to work out our best shot at blitzing the virus. Why? Because in round one, the virus totally KO'd the skipper's immune system. Let's hope we do better in round two. Thank you. You okay? Shouldn't you be with the precious clone? Sheng and Mara have got it under control. Feels like the only ones with no control around here are me and Tane. You still might have to go, you know. Yeah, yeah. Steve already said. Maybe we're going, maybe we're not. We're just supposed to wait. You really want to go so badly? I want it to be with Tane. But she'll still be with Tane, no matter what happens. So what's this clone like? Is it creepy? These tests all check out. C2's in perfect health. No measurable degradation since departure. Mara, can you take a look at this, please? Do you think there should be more motility in the white cells? Blood cells still sluggish. We need to warm him up. Where are we on the maximum reanimation range? Uh, minus 75 degrees, close to hitting the limit. We need to be at least another couple of degrees warmer. But if we use any more heat, we could risk animating the clone. He could wake up. It's against all recommended procedures. Isn't it worth it to save Syriax? Absolutely. Sheng, take it up two degrees. Do you want something to eat? No. What's taking them so long? There's a lot of tests. We're going to miss our chance. But if the clone can help Syriax... D and I think he knows everything. Is this about saving Syriax or being better than Deeks? Thought you wanted to go on this mission. I did. I still do. If the clone doesn't work out. But if it does, isn't it better that we still get to go to the Silver Sun and we're still together? And I don't have to leave Mum. I'm glad everything worked out for you. It worked out for both of us. Tane! Typical Syriax, keeping us in the dark about this. It was need to know. We didn't need to know. Yes, we did. Using clones for medical experiments is against everything I believe in. You were meant to be frozen, remember? It didn't matter what you believed in. Well, I'm here now. You can't change it anyway. Clones have been used in standard medical procedures for ages. That still doesn't make it right, Deegs. I'm sorry. I just don't see why Syriax's emergency plan should be everyone's business. We had a right to know that there was a Harvest clone on the mission. It's like feeding a vegetarian meat and not telling them. I think you're overreacting. And I think you're going down. Syriax <sighs> has the good brain, but his body is sick. And C2's got the zombie brain, but a healthy body. Finally, C2's immune system's hammering the virus. Oh, that's better than I expected. But I guess a single cell response is one thing. We're asking it to do it on a much larger scale when we treat Syriax. Now we know we can use C2's blood, we better start feeding him up. I'm gonna feed C2 to Syriax. They're gonna turn Syriax into a zombie. Cinnamon, Tycho, uh, go and tell your father we're making progress. We should try direct transfusion. Okay, but if we do that, we'll have to lift the blood temperature en route from C2 to Syriax. Do you think we'll see his brain? No way. I bet a zombie's brain is all green, slimy, and tastes like peppermint. What did I tell you? We probably shouldn't reanimate Syriax until the last minute. We don't want this virus spreading any further. I'll organise a thermal shunt. Deegs, could you please come to the lab and adjust C2's cryonic settings? We're about to start a nutrient drip. Why the drip? So C2 can regenerate his blood once they begin the transfusion. On my way. That's gross. Fattening him up so he can drain his blood. They're not giving him a hamburger, it's just a simple technical requirement. Zandy, good time for my taekwondo lesson? I'm dressed. Sure, why not? Isn't it weird having two Syriaxes? I always thought one was more than enough. What would happen if C2 found out he was a clone and got out of his pod? I don't know. Would he have to fight Syriax? Try to be the only Syriax? 
I really don't know. What would you do if you were a clone? I don't want to be a clone. I want to be me. Yeah, exactly. But first you'd have to find out who that is. Bet you're real proud of yourself. Yeah, I am. Mission safe, Syrax is gonna get better. You think you can do anything you want and get away with it? Can you gonna stop me? Somebody has to. Tane? Deegan Hart? What's going on here? If you have a problem, this is not the way to resolve it. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. I don't want to see anything like this again. Am I understood? Understood? Yeah. We're on track for the transfusion in the morning. Good work. There's been no changes in the last hour. Is there anything more I can do? I'll take over now. Thanks, Shing. Let's see how you're going. Next settings are optimum. The clone's ready to go. Thanks, Deeks. Breaking the rules pays off once in a while, huh? We haven't faced the music yet. Whatever punishment we get, it will have been worth it. Yeah, maybe. So, you're going to be a rebel from now on? I don't think I could ever be a rebel. Why not? You're great at it. thing hooked up to all these stupid machines. They're feeding you up C2 because they're going to use your blood for the commander. Do you think it's totally dodgy? I do. I know what it's like when they all gang up on you around here, freezing you and thawing you whenever they feel like it. You don't have to put up with it. Get away from the pods, Andy. You might bump something. Calm down. I was just checking out the freak show. Wheel it in gently. What's with the screen? I don't want Syriax to be confronted by the sight of C2 when he regains consciousness. But he knows all about the clock. Well, knowing about it in theory is one thing, but sitting up and seeing yourself in the next bed is another thing entirely. Yeah, it'd sure rattle me if I woke up and saw my clone, I tell you. Now you know what the rest of us have to put up with. Uh -huh, yeah. I don't want to take him up any further than another 0.5. Will that do the trick? Uh, any chance of pushing it to 0.75? Done, but that's taking it to the absolute max. OK. Mara, are we ready to link up the cellular filtration? Ready. Lines are open. This 
better do the trick. You do your best work under pressure. So what's the difference between C2 and c -reacts? Well, nothing genetically, that's the whole point. So C2 could be everything Syriax is? Yes, but it's not encouraged. Why not? Well, C2... It's like he's been grown in a hothouse and then snapped frozen. He's never been animated, so he's had no opportunity for emotional or intellectual development. Like a zombie? Not exactly. He doesn't know or feel anything. If he did, it'd make it a lot harder for him to fulfil his purpose. But in theory, a harvest clone could be woken up, developed. Yeah, it could, but they never are. But if you needed to develop one, how would you do it? Well, it's easy. You treat them like a baby. Feed them, talk to them, nurture them, touch them. Just give them a range of sensory and intellectual stimuli. Why are you so interested all of a sudden? No reason. Deganhart worked it out. Eventually. Your pulse is good. Temperature's normal. I think you're gonna be fine. I don't feel fine. I feel a bit foolish. You look better. What was it? Some sort of virus. Like we've never seen before. Invasive, aggressive, highly adaptive. It wasn't just physical, it was... Behavioural. Got right inside your head. I remember saying things. We know it was because you weren't well, sir. And everyone else? Everyone's fine, fortunately. We think direct contact with the primary organism is needed to infect a host. I'm so sorry. None of this was your fault. That's enough excitement for today. You need to rest. It looks like Syriax is going to make a full recovery. That's great. So there's no need to send you two back to Earth. Syriax is OK. That's the main thing. He will be informed of your bravery, Tane, as soon as he's well enough. Great. The mission is safe. The commander is safe. You're going to have to get over your disappointment. Thanks for the advice. Tane? We'll be fine. You just need some time. Do you want to talk about it? There's nothing to talk about. We're not going. Deegs is a hero. End of story. You're a hero too. If you say so. I guess this means we don't have to spend the next two years alone together after all. I was going to be in charge for once. No one to answer to. The mission depended on me. Us. Yeah, us. We made plans. But everything's changed now. Yeah, exactly. I guess this means we can change our minds. We said stuff. We meant it at the time, but... Definitely at the time, but... Doesn't mean that we can't go back to how things were. Rewind a little. Exactly. So... We'll just take it easy. Still be together. Just not that. Together. Deeks! Deeks! Yeah? I've got a plan. Why am I not surprised? This is a good one, and I want your help. Right. I thought you'd be up for another adventure since you and Mara saved the day. OK, Zandy, what's the plan? It's about C2. Oh, no. You do realise he has full developmental potential. Listen, the only reason C2 exists is so there's a bag of organs, bones and blood handy if Syriax gets sick. C2 exists? And so he should have a say in what sort of existence he has. Look, forget this thing about C2 being an individual. He's not. So what is he then? I don't know. Whatever he is, he's back on ice in 24 hours. Mum. 
Busy? Not too busy to talk. What's up? I said a lot of stuff when I wanted to go back to Earth. I wanted to be with Tane and... Yeah, I know. You're old enough to make your own decisions. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to say, I'm glad I still get to be with you too. I'm so happy you're here. No matter what I say, you're still my little girl. No way. I'm almost 16. Yeah, right. Come here. <laughs> so I share full responsibility with Deegs. But it was me who started it all and broke into your personal files. To be fair, I actually pushed the buttons that resulted in the launch being aborted. Only just. We didn't plan it this way. No, and by the time we figured it out, it was action stations. You broke more rules Steve's than I Steve's tried to talk I to Steve. I haven't finished. You broke rules. Not only that, you disobeyed direct orders. But I find myself in the strange position of having to thank you for it. Oh, so what? They get off, just like that. Tane. No. I'm putting you both on a charge. And Tane, you and Leonella will be commended for your bravery and self-sacrifice for volunteering to take me back to Earth. Thank you, sir. You all made tough decisions under pressure. And I'm very proud of you all. Though it's Lillian who deserves a medal. If it was my child, I'm not sure I would have let her go. I really should be put on a charge as well. I help Deegan Hart with computer access. You stay out of it. I've heard as many confessions as I care to for the moment. Didn't I say goodnight to you guys about an hour ago? Tucker had a bad dream. He's worried it'll come back. Tell Dad. Well, it was about to... I meant Tycho. It's about C-Rex and C-2. What happened? T-Rex is a big mad zombie and he's walking like this, moaning. <laughs> sure sounds scary. <laughs> then I run to find mum. She picks me up, but she's not mum. She's a zombie clone mum, like C2. Two mums. Cool. <sighs> it was not cool. It was freaky. Look. Dreaming is just your subconscious sorting out something you're worried about, okay? So, <clears throat> let's talk clones. No one else could care less, C2, but I do. I think you deserve to be yourself, to be properly alive. I don't really get on with the guy, but Syriax is pretty smart. And he could be just as smart. We haven't got much time, but I'll stay and talk to you for now. <laughs> <laughs>